It's hard to believe, but we're all the way done with what we're going to do for learning concepts. So now it's time to start putting stuff onto sheets of paper so they're ready to get printed. This is where we deviate from the book a little bit because we have our custom templates, we have our custom printer sizes, so we're going to start going off of what the book is saying and getting our sheets set up. So let's dive into it. What we're talking about with sheets here is down on the right hand side or in our project browser, we have our views, all of our different views, and those, some of them are already put on sheets. So down here, there's one that says Sheets. We're going to open that up. Those sheets come up, and if they have a little plus by them, that means they already have a view on it. So if I double-click on this basement plan, I can see that my basement view or plan basement is already placed on this sheet. And how this works is right here is my view, that floor plan basement view, and right here is a title block. So this is, it says a D sized sheet of paper, which is 22 inches by 34 inches. That's a little bit big for us. But so we're going to change those to B sized sheets of paper, which is 11 by 17. So let's go through the process of completing that. And if you take a peek, I have, now I have my first floor and my basement plan open. I'm going to open my first floor on a sheet. So first floor open, basement floor plan open. The next process that I have to do is I have to download the title block that I'm going to be putting in here. So I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to go to my computer. And I'm going to go down to where it says Google Drive G. And I'm going to go to my drive, and I have shared a folder with you. So mine's in my architecture folder, but yours will be in shared with me. It's called ERHS Architecture Share Folder. And right there, B11 by 17 is the file I want to open up. So this is a Revit family. This is a title block for an 11 by 17 piece of paper. This is my project. So I have two different projects open right now. When I have this project in, I'm going to hit load into project, or this family open. I'm going to hit load into project. Mine says overwrite. Yours probably will not say overwrite existing version. And now I've loaded this into my project, so I'm just going to hit the close button. So I have my first floor plan, which is up here, and I have that on my sheet that says first floor plan, and that's what I have open here. Talked about the view, talked about the title block. Here's my title block. Now, with my title block highlighted, I can come over here, and I can hit B11 by 17 horizontal, and you'll see it changes it much smaller, which is perfectly fine at this point. We're going to hit. Now this is a size of sheet of paper that I have to be working on. This project here is too big. So if it's too big, I have to lower this first number. So I have to go to an eighth inch equals a foot instead of a quarter inch equals a foot. And we're going to see if that fits on here. And that does fit on there. So we'll get that fitting nice. Now I've got to deal with this little view piece, which is the view tells me what this view is. View label. So if I need to adjust the length of this line, I need to pick on the view. And then I can grab the length of the line. If I need to adjust the position of the line, I just grab this position, and I can move this line around. Let's get it nice and centered on the piece of paper, and moving forward. So that's how we change our view, and 
and work with that.